Hello, welcome to Christ-Centered Gamer's latest unboxing of one of Corsair's newest mice, the M55 Wireless. There you go, get a good look at the front of the box there. Now this is a compact, symmetrical-shaped gaming mouse that I would like to call a laptop mouse. Why would I call it a laptop mouse? Well, it's small, or at least it appears to be, if the box is in any, any indication. Uh, here's the back. It has all the main features that you expect out of a gaming mouse, though it's not what you would call a super high end. It doesn't have 8,000 pulling rate or anything like that. Just the standard 1,000, which is enough. Um, and it uh, takes AA batteries. So that's pretty cool. Very convenient, especially when you're traveling. You don't have to worry about charging it. Actually, you can't charge it. You have to replace the battery or get a rechargeable battery. But either way, um, this is really a, a great mouse for, for you when you're on the go. If you have a stop at a store and pick up batteries, so be it. So yeah, this is um, appears to be the black model. I don't know if there's another color. There might be. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got on the inside. Such a small mouse. This has got to be the smallest mouse box I've ever had. <laughs> All right, so we've got stuff on the inside. Just a little sandwich of things. It's about as simple as it gets. So we've got a little QR code with the manual. I guess I can show you if you want to scan it. We've got this guy here with the mouse itself. Yep, this is small. This is a tiny little one. And then we've got some stuff on the bottom. Oh, this appears to be the dongle. The very, very much most important part. So here's a little dongle. It's got little, uh, it's got little ridged edges here like a lot of Corsairs and dongles do. A little slipstream uh, icon right there. A little Corsair on the end. Pretty straightforward. So that's part of the mouse here. This is the mouse itself. And we'll just go ahead and take that out of its paper sleeve. Or I guess it's not paper. It's like a... Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, we got plastic on the bottom. But otherwise, it's a pretty standard mouse with a little textured sides. And, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a little little DPI button right here, and it's got a little piece of tape on that, too. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the main tape on the bottom, or I guess the plastic covering on the bottom for the PTFE feet. And you can see it's got a slot for the dongle, which you can put in. Oh, the lighting's kind of funny. Or you can put the put this in right here. See, fix right in there. Okay, which is great. So nice feet. These are real, real nice smooth feet. A little power on and off button. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to peel this off. Let's see if this comes out. Um, okay. Okay. So that's the top of the mouse. So it'll be hopefully a good look there. Okay. This top. Front. As you can see, there is no USB port for charging or wired mode. Um, yeah, so and I believe this comes off. And it does. So, oh, it's got a battery in there already. As you can see, it's not, it's got some paper covering the pull tab. Maybe plastic, yeah, plastic. But we'll get to that in just a moment. And I guess we have a manual right here. Warranty, I think appliance, nothing too complicated. It's a mouse. And all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff off and get rid of that. And let's just go ahead and pull this tab out. Battery popped out. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in this way, minus plus. There we go. Whoop. Takes a little bit of finagling to get this on just right. I don't want to mess it up. There we go. Oh, I just realized that there's the buttons themselves, which there's two side buttons there. Uh, they have little plastic covers on them too. So I gotta peel those off if I can figure out how to do that. Okay. Come on, there we go. Got one. Last but not least. I get the silly thing off me. The second one. Okay, almost there. Got it. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead and take this dongle. I'm just going to put this in one of my computers that's here. This little guy right here. I have a little mini computer here. And I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And let's see if it works. Yep, that's it. It works. Cool. Seems pretty nice. Uh, seems reasonably comfortable. Uh, it's a smaller size. 
I know my one of my kids would absolutely love that the size of this is very small. It looks like it's got a little LED on top, probably for a DPI. So I just pushed and it went green. It's going a little bit faster than before, so that's very nice. And I uh, push it again. It's now it's now it's blue. It's even faster. Um, push it again. Now it's red. It's super slow. So yeah, so this is a decent decent mouse. Uh, it's got a nice feeling scroll wheel. It's got little triangles in the side. I don't know if I can show them easily on the camera, but they're in there. It's got little triangles on the side. Corsair's trademark triangles. It looks good. Feels nice. Uh, definitely small. It's got a sturdy, small feel to it. I think I feel like it can take an, take a beating. You know, if you threw it in a bag, it would probably be okay. So yeah, pretty cool. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Um, better Ron Mouse for controlling the <laughs> recording. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Take care. God bless. And please look forward to our Fulton review. Full written review. And thank you, Corsair, for sending this to us to review. Take care. God bless.